Yo, what is good, J.I. Squad, and welcome back to yet again another episode of J.I. Productions. It's your boy, J.I., and I'm back at it again with another banker video for y'all. As you guys can tell by the title and the thumbnail of today's video, we're going to be doing a year review on my Speed Engineering Inch and 7 8 Catalyst Long Tube Headers. Now, I'm not even going to lie, this is probably one of the most controversial header out there just because of the price point and the company's history. So let's go ahead and roll that intro and get straight into this banger, man. Yeah, what's up with it? Do it cause I love it and I stuck with it. We ain't with the sub and in the cut with it. Please none of the talks, I heard enough of it. Like, what you gonna do? Where you at? Who you with? You ain't really about this, don't talk about it. Really on the move, on the map, never slip. Keep your hands to your lips, don't talk about it. Real eyes, real lies, real lies. All the time, stand on it. If we said it, we don't walk around it. Loose lips, ain't ships, red cup, blue strips, new phone, who this? No, we don't allow it. Really on go, I don't know what's an off day. Now we on road, came from. So, alright, you guys, as some of you guys may or may not know, this is my 2021 Camaro SS1LE. It is a full Boton E85 tuned car. Now when I say full Boton, I mean headers, cold air intake, intake manifold, and E85. That's literally everything that's bolted onto this car. There's no converter, there's no cam, there's no heads, any of those things yet. Now, as y'all can hear, you know what I'm saying? Vader is very, very loud, you know what I'm saying? Especially being catless and then having the AWE track axle back exhaust on the rear of this thing. He screams, you know what I'm saying? There's no like quiet creeping or sneaking or whatever, you know what I'm saying? Whatever you want to call it in this car. It's not, it's not happening. So as you guys know, I've had this car for over a year now. And this car is here to stay on the channel. This is the channel's, uh, you know, main attraction. I'm not selling this car at all. Not even gonna say anytime soon or none of that. Like, I'm never selling this car. So, a lot of people ask me, hey, J.I., you know, where are you getting some of these parts from? How are you feeling about these parts? So, I decided, you know, let me go ahead and talk about the speed engineering headers because at the end of the day, we all know the speed engineering headers are significantly cheaper than some of the leading brands, such as Corsa, such as Texas Speed, such as Cooks. You know what I'm saying? Speed engineering comes in, I believe, if I'm not mistaken, right under a thousand dollars, and the rest of those headers that I just mentioned probably are going for like upwards of a thousand, if not two k. Um, so it just depends on where you go. If you're looking for some headers. Go to wildhammermotorsports.com, type in J.I. Wild at checkout, and save yourself some money. You dig what I'm saying? <laughs> Shame this plug. But speed engineering headers, man. Have I had any issues with these? No. Um, a lot of people say, you know, they leak or the gasket leaks on them or, you know, fitment is an issue or, you know, you get rattling and stuff like that. And I'm going to be completely honest with you guys. I've owned a lot of vehicles all three of the Camaros that I've owned, I've put headers on, even the V6. And I must say, the speed engineering long tube headers were literally the easiest install possible. And if you guys don't wanna take my word for it, which I know some of you guys will, and some of you guys won't, y'all can go tap in with my boy Manny over at Manny Built on Instagram. He's the one who did the install on these headers for me. We did like a little collab joint when um, I basically went Botons with this car. He even said it when installing the headers. And this is a guy who owns a performance shop. You dig what I'm saying? He was like, bro, these are the easiest headers that I've ever had to install. Literally, the fitment is perfect. All of the holes lined it up great. The quality of the header itself, the welds were great. I, I was worried, I will be honest with you guys, I was very, very skeptical when buying these headers solely because I've seen reviews from multiple people who say, you know, they have fitment issues, they say that the holes weren't lining up, the welds weren't, um, you know, as quality as you would want in a header that you're keeping on your car for a long time, and then a couple people even said that they rusted 
very, very easily. Now, like I said multiple times in this video, I've had these headers on my car for over a year now, and I've had no issues with rust. I've had no issues with leaks. I've had no issues at all whatsoever. Knock on carbon for sure, but it's literally been 100% perfect. Like these headers have been stout. Um, moving forward, you know, do I recommend them to the next guy to get them? I really do. If you're looking to, you know, save some money on some of these parts, because we all know as car guys and car girls, you know what I'm saying, for the women out there that watch the channel, modding these cars is not cheap whatsoever. From the install prices to the actual price of the part itself, it's not cheap at all. So, you know, Wherever you can save money at, you know what I'm saying, is definitely, <laughs> is definitely important. At least to, you know, majority of the car community. Now, I will say this. As far as header chatter, which the LT motors are very, very common to have, I rarely have any. Honestly, if I have any at all, it's so minimal to where when the hood is closed, you don't hear it at all. Um, I'm actually about to pull over to a nice little parking spot and I'll pop the hood for you guys so that y'all can take a look and see like legit the headers have no issues whatsoever. So let me just pull over real quick and show y'all. I'm going to pop the hood for y'all right now and show y'all what we're working with and I'm going to leave the car running so y'all can hear. motor but as y'all can hear there is literally no chatter and as y'all can see I don't know how well y'all can see down there but y'all can see the burn on them is perfect literally no rust whatsoever and there's no leaks I have no leaks literally I'll tell you guys what I did this is the passenger side everything is nice and clean no issues whatsoever now, for those of you who are in the market for these headers and are looking to be able to be like me and not have any issues with leaks or, um, you know, the gaskets failing, this is exactly what you do, man. When you're ordering your headers, right, be sure to have them come with the GM exhaust manifold gaskets. If they come with the GM exhaust manifold gaskets, I guarantee you, you're not gonna have a single issue. Why? Because I will keep it a bean. The gaskets that come with the speed engineering, headers from speed engineering, those things are so flimsy. I ain't gonna lie, I don't recommend them whatsoever. And I'm speaking from experience solely because even though I opted to get the GM gaskets they still provided their gaskets as well and we did a little bit of a comparison um side by side and i i'm not gonna lie those speed engineering joints yeah they're definitely trash so if you guys are running these headers man i'm telling you run them with the gm gaskets and i guarantee you you will not have a single issue as long as you get them installed properly and you take your time, make sure everything is bolted down and torqued down to spec, you shouldn't have a single problem. And you'll be able to... Vader is just different, bro. <laughs> Vader is just different with that AWD. I ain't gonna lie, Vader is just different. Like, even with the MPP, the MPP was loud, but it didn't have this drone, and it also did not have this deep of a tone. Like, the AWE, that's... That's a different story, like a different video. If you guys want me to do a review on the actual entire exhaust setup again, let me know down in the comment section down below and I will gladly do that for you. Get some exterior clips of the car driving, some revs, um, you know, some rolling shots and stuff like that. We'll definitely get that going. But just to, you know, go ahead and answer you guys' question on my headers, bro. Speed engineering, I give them joints the stamp of approval and the go ahead on any build i can't lie as long as you get the gm exhaust gaskets you'll be fine i promise you that now with that being said y'all that's gonna wrap it up for today's video i know it was a short video nothing too crazy nothing 
wild going on. You dig what I'm saying? You guys kind of just came with me for a ride in the car. You dig? <laughs> Heard the exhaust a little bit. I'll give you guys some downshifts real quick. Hold on. to be loud <laughs> you want to make some power too but you don't want to break the bank bro I'm telling you speed engineering is the move I'm not sponsored by them I have no affiliation with them at all everybody just keeps DMing me asking me hey J.I. like how are the headers are the headers actually any good do you like them do you recommend them and it's like bro I can't, I can't lie, I don't have a single complaint about these headers at all. There's, Y'all heard it when I popped the hood. There's no header chatter or anything like that. It sounds phenomenal. And then you got... them on the car for over a year now man no issues no leaks nothing i've been on the car multiple times doing oil changes doing inspections of the undercarriage and just you know you guys know if you've been a part of the ji squad for a minute y'all know me man i take very 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 good care of my vehicles i like them to run forever and if you take care of them the right way do all your maintenance on time if not early like i do you're not gonna have any issues man so with all that being said that's gonna wrap it up for this one i'm gonna go ahead and roll that outro get this video a big thumbs up drop a comment in the comment section down below if this video was helpful to you if this is one of the videos that you guys have been asking for bro drop me in the comment section down below subscribe to the channel if you're new and i'm gonna go ahead and roll that outro like i said i'll see y'all in the next one peace <laughs>